Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today we will learn chapter 7 gravitation. Okay, so today we will start with 7.1 gravitation force and also field strength. So what is the meaning of uh, Newton's law? Newton's law of gravitation states that a point mass will attract another point mass in any part of the universe with a force that is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them so we can write it as fg gravitational force or sometimes we call it as newton's law of gravitation is directly proportional to the product of the masses okay so masses here meaning there is m1 and also m2 and it's inversely proportional to the square of the distance so it's over r squared or we can straight away write f equals to g m1 m2 over r squared where g is the universal gravitation constant 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11 okay so this one you must remember okay so we go to the first questions okay questions number one Tisha and Edwin with the masses 50 kg and 70 kg respectively are sitting on a bench. They are separated by the distance of 0.5 meter. Okay, calculate the gravitational force between Tisha and also Edwin. Okay, so if let's say here Tisha, okay, Tisha and also Edwin. Tisha is 50 kg, Edwin is 70 kg. And the distance between them is given 0 0.5 meter. So they now they want us to find the gravitational force between Tisha and also Edwin. Okay, so our gravitational force F is equal to G M1 M2 over R squared. Where G is the constant 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11. M1 is 50, M2 is 70, and the distance between them is 0 0.5 square. So if you press calculator, you will get 9.34 times 10 to the power of negative 7 Newton. Okay, so these questions is actually they want to ask the gravitational force between Tisha and Edwin. Okay, so actually if I say the question say find the gravitational force on okay so if the question asks find the gravitational force on Tisha meaning that Tisha is our superstar okay meaning that we are focusing on Tisha so Tisha we can write as Tisha will attract to Edwin so this force attractive force we call it F uh, let's say this is one this is two uh. attractive force F to attract on Tisha one okay so we can label it as F21 and the value is 9.34 times 10 to the power of negative 7 Newton okay so if let's say we are referring to uh, Edwin so Edwin will be our superstar Edwin also will attract to Tisha okay so we label it as F12 okay force attract by Tisha on Edwin okay so F12 so if we write F uh, the force acting on Edwin, we can write as F12 or is actually equal to negative 9.34 times 10 to the power of negative 7 Newton. Okay, so why negative? Because the direction is actually moving to the left. Okay, so meaning that F21 the magnitude of F21 actually equals to the magnitude of magnitude of 1 2 okay so what is the difference here is actually the direction okay so f21 actually equals to f12 magnitude same but 
is actually in negative directions of F12. Huh? F12 is equal to negative F21. Okay, so meaning that they having a same magnitude but opposite direction. Okay, so remember attractive force between them are same in the magnitude but they are in opposite directions. Okay, next we go to questions number 2. The average distance between the earth moon is given um, eight, uh, 384,000 kilometer. Okay, kilo, remember to convert into power of 3. A spaceship of mass is given 3 times 10 to the power of 4 kg is traveled from the earth to the moon. Okay, so here is the earth and this is the spaceship okay and this is the moon to determine the distance of the spaceship from the earth at which the net gravitational force acting on it okay on it meaning that we want to find the net force on it it meaning that it's a spaceship okay so spaceship will be our superstar meaning that we only focus on this spaceship okay and uh, the resultant force is actually the one is equal to zero. Okay, so if we focus on this spaceship, this spaceship actually will attract. Okay, will attract to the moon, uh, to the earth in this direction. Okay, so I label it as, uh, let's say this is one, two, and three. So I will label it as F1 on spaceship two. Okay, at the same time also, spaceship also will attract to the moon F. 3, 2. Okay, the force attracted by the moon on the spaceship. So, we want to find F resultant is equal to 0. Okay, so we can write as our total F net is equal to MA and because the question say the net gravitational force is 0, so A is 0 lah, meaning that the net force acting on the spaceship is equal to 0. Okay, so our F net is equal to 0. F32 plus negative F12 will equal to 0. Okay, F32 is to the right, so it's positive. Plus negative F12 because it's to the left, so it's negative. Okay, so we can write as F32 actually equals to F12. So we substitute GM3 M2 over R square equals to G M1 M2 over R squared. Okay, so this is R1, this is R2. Okay, G and M2, G and M2, we can cancel each other. So we just substitute M3. M3 is the uh, mass of the moon. Mass of the moon here is equals to 7.35 times 10 to the power of 22. And the radius of... Uh, moon okay so here just now the questions already given the distance between the earth and the moon is equal to 384,000 kilometer okay so if let's say here the distance between the earth and the spaceship is x okay meaning that spaceship to the moon is 384,000 kilo kilo i convert into meter minus x okay so now the distance 3 to 3 to is the distance of a uh, spaceship and the moon so i substitute inside here uh, 384 thousand kilo minus x okay and remember square okay equals to m1 m1 is the earth mass of the earth is 6 times 10 to the power of 24 and the distance here between the earth and the spaceship is x so i will write it as x squared okay so if you uh, shift the equation you will get 7.35 times 10 to the power of 22 x squared is equal to this one i try to uh, simplify it so it will get 6 times 10 to the power of 24 so this one I will try 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 eh? So it's 3.84 times 10 to the power of 5 
plus 3, so it becomes 8 minus x squared. Okay? So you expand it, you will get... Okay, so if let's say we try to rearrange back the equations, we will get uh, x squared... Okay? So if let's say we re rearrange back the equations, we will get x squared over... 3.84 times 10 to the power of here is 5 plus 3 so it's 8 minus x square equals to 6 times 10 to the power of 24 and then over 7.35 times 10 to the power of 22 okay so after that we square root both sides okay so if we square root we will get x over 3.84 times 10 to the power of 8 minus x equals to uh, equals to if you set this one you will get 9.03 yeah, after square root okay so x will equals to 9.03 times 3.84 power of 8 minus x Okay, so we will get 3.47 times 10 to the power of 9 minus 9.03x. Uh, if you expand it, okay, so finally x here, x and this here also, this uh, the other side also x. Okay, so finally we will get the answer x is 3.46 times 10 to the power of 8 meter. Okay, so x here is actually the distance from the, the earth to the spaceship. Okay, so we will try continue with questions number 3. Okay, question number 3 is a moon due to the gravitational attraction of the both earth and also sun if the moon is between the earth and sun. Okay, so this question also we have a uh, three planet where we have earth sun and also moon is in between the earth and also sun okay so you need to draw uh, let's say this is earth okay and the center is the moon okay here let's say this is the sun okay so now we want to find uh, that falls on the moon okay you must refer on where on which planet so if the question say on moon meaning moon is the superstar okay it's the planet that we are referring okay so moon will attract to the earth okay again i label as one two three so f one two attract to earth on the moon okay moon also will attract to sun okay so this is f three two Okay, so our F net is equals to our F net here is equals to uh, F three two because it's to the right plus negative F one two because it's to the left. Okay, and for this case, F net is not zero. Okay, we want to find what is the value. Okay, questions just now number two is f net equals to zero for but for questions number three f net is not zero. Huh? We want to find what is the f net. Okay, I think on the moon. Okay, so before that we must find what is the value for f three two. Okay, so I will do it separately. F three two equals to uh, g m two m three over r square. Okay, so g is equals to 6.67 times 10 to the power of 11 m2 is moon mass of moon is equals to 7.35 times 10 to the power of 22 and uh, sun m3 is sun so sun is equals to 1.99 times 10 to the power of 30 okay over r square so r square let's say r1 here is the distance between the moon and the sun Distance between moon and sun is this one, uh, is 1.5 times 10 to the power of 8. Again, it's kilo, so you must times 3 and then remember to square. Ok, 
Okay? Uh, so, the distance between the moon and the sun, moon and the sun, is equal to 4.34 times 10 to the power of 20 Newton. Okay? Next, F12. So, it's equal to GM1. M2 because it's 1, 2 over R2 squared. G is 6.67 times 10 to the power of 11. M1 is the Earth. Mass of the Earth is 5.98 5 times 10 to the power of 24. And mass for the Moon is 7.35 times 10 to the power of 22. Okay, and the distance between them is 3. 8, 4 times 10 to the power of 5 And remember, this is kilo ah. We only want meter So we will convert kilo into meter Okay, so remember to square So, the force between the earth and the moon Is 1.99 times 10 to the power of 20 newton Okay, so we substitute into the equation F32 is 4.34 times 10 to the power of 20 plus negative because it's to the left. Eh? Okay, so anything also we are referring to this diagram. Okay, this superstar here. So it's negative. Uh, 1, 2 is 1.99 times 10 to the power of 20. So the answer that we will get is equal to 2.35 times 10 to the power of 20 newton and the answer is positive okay so positive meaning that it is to the right so actually right is towards the sun okay so we can say the answer is 2.35 times 10 to the power of 20 newton towards the sun okay so that's all for today so please click on the next video we will discuss on the gravitational force okay thank you see you bye